Iori Kirahara heads to the shop Grand Blue to meet with his extended family and start his new college life. However, he's shocked to discover the shop overtaken by several drunken men. As Iori runs away, two of the men from the diving club chase after him, eventually catching him and dragging him back to the shop. While trying to find someone to take the scene seriously, Iori gets swept up in the antics of the club, getting drunk and stripped of all of his clothing except for his boxers. The next day, Iori and the other two men wake up just outside Iza University for their orientation, but he has no time to change. After a brief encounter with Kei Imamura, Iori tries to find someone to give him spare clothes, but he sounds like a pervert and is chased around by campus police. Eventually, Iori is initiated into the Peekaboo Diving Club by the two men from earlier, Shinji Tokuda and Ryojiro Kotobuki. Iori tricks Kohei into joining the club with him, and the two freshmen are pressed into a drinking contest where even the water is a large glass of vodka. Iori realizes he hasn't actually slept in his new room yet, but the others in Peekaboo are planning a mixer with some women from the local Umai Women's College. So Itori tries to make up his room to convince Nanaka he's responsible enough to go to the mixer. However, Shinji, Ryojiro, and Kohei all help decorate his room with lewd posters, creating increasingly awkward scenes when Nanaka and Chisa come to check on him, and Nanaka forces him to sleep in a rundown adjacent room. Later, Shinji and Ryujiro try to get Itori used to being underwater at a local pool to prepare him for deep sea diving. That night, Nanaka takes Iori to an aquarium at Chisa's request, inspiring him to try out diving. Shinji and Ryujiro inform Iori and Kohei that they are being entered into the male pageant at the Izu Spring Festival to raise money for the club, despite their objections to the respective costumes. Afterwards, Iori finally tries out deep sea diving for the first time in a wetsuit under Ryujiro's supervision. He returns to Grand Blue, excitedly telling Chisa about his experience underwater. The next morning, Iori wakes up next to a woman. Shinji and Ryujiro tell Iori that the woman is Azuna, and they don't consider her a traditional woman at all. Later, Iori and Kohei are training to make okonomiyaki for the festival while secretly trying to get Chisa drunk and convince her to enter the women's pageant so they won't need to enter the male pageant if she wins. However, all of their attempts backfire. Azusa finally gets the boys to admit their true motives. The morning after, Shinji and Ryujiro announce that Chisa has decided to enter the women's pageant under the condition that Iori and Kohei enter the men's pageant as well. Iori and Kohei's initial excitement at the Izu Spring Festival fades when they realize they have to man their club's okonomiyaki stand for most of it. Later that afternoon, the women's beauty pageant begins. Chisa takes the stage in a dress, but she is noticeably stiff on stage, and the club's attempt to increase her appeal only backfire. Iori comes up with an idea to throw the super balls he won earlier to lift up her dress from afar with his club, but Iori soon realizes that his club left him alone on the task as Chisa looks for revenge. While hiding from her wrath, a cakey girl appears and asks Kohei to go out with her, but he refuses. The club then has a brief party, as Chisa pressures Iori into drinking two liters of shoshu as penance before the men's beauty pageant that evening. Keiki reappears outside of their room, crying for Iori and Kohei that her friends on the tennis team saw her as a joke and rejected her from their group. At the men's pageant, the captain of the tennis club, Kudo, fights against Kohei for Azusa's love, only for Iori to rip off his disguise and reveal that Kudo was trying to attract him while disguised as Azusa, embarrassing him in front of the whole festival. Chisa and Iori are declared the winners of their respective pageants, and Keiki thanks Iori and Kohei for their acts while they drink from wash tubs at the after party. The next day, Chisa and a wasted Iori are honored on stage, and Chisa declares Iori her boyfriend thinking it will fend off the advances of the other men at the festival. The men in the audience call for his death instead. The next day in class, Iori discovers that all the men are glaring at him, and Chisa's reaction to Iori's questions further enraged them. The men at Izu University continue sending death threats, and a couple directly plan to kill Iori and Kohei and bury them in the mountains for their perceived luck with women, until the two men panic and buy their way out by promising to hold the mixer. Iori and Kohei beg Azusa to help them, and she brings in Aina Yoshiwa Mara a new member of Peekaboo to set up the mixer. To their surprise, Aina is the cakey girl, but without her makeup on. The next evening, Yori and Kohei head to the bar with Hajime Nojima and Shinichiro Yamamoto. The men are shocked when they see Aina and her three friends all wearing cakey makeup. 
Shinichiro continues on, trying to attract one of the women, and the rest of the men alternate between trying to help and sabotaging each other. Eventually, the women leave, laughing at the spectacle without any affection for any of them. The men go off drinking elsewhere while the women retreat to a cafe, and Aina starts having feelings for Iori. Iori, Koche, and their classmates try to cheat on their German language test, but their plans all backfire. Later, Aina is officially inducted into Peekaboo, only to find herself as the only sane member of the group. She begs the others to put on some clothes after going to the store with Chisa, but returns to find them in the middle of another stripping game. After the party, Shinji and Ryojiro try to run the new members through hand signals to study for their next diving trip, as Iori ends up practicing to get away from the potential wrath of Nanaka. The next day, Iori goes diving with Chisa while Aina gets past her initial awkwardness, and they both enjoy their time underwater. After passing their German test, Iori's classmates decide to have a party at his place in Grand Blue to check if he actually has a relationship with Chisa. As the crew are about to drink, Chisa appears creating an awkward moment for Iori. The next day, Tinkerbell challenges Peekaboo to a doubles tennis match to get revenge for the humiliation their captain incurred at the festival. Shinji and Ryojiro destroy their opponents with raw power, but Chisa stumbles when the club's compliments make her feel embarrassed about her tennis outfit. Finally, Iori shows surprising skill at tennis, but his partner, Kohei, can't even hit the ball over the net, forcing Iori to take drastic action to win the match. With their extra winnings from the match secured, the club plans an outing to Okinawa. Shinji offers a part-time job to Iori. Yori and Kohei with a moving company, but they spend most of their pay on a bar tab the following night. Looking to earn more money for the upcoming Okinawa trip, the club takes a trip to a local bar where Ryojiro works part-time as a bartender. After watching him work, Iori and Kohei try to tend the bar themselves, but don't know how to mix drinks and anger Aina with their antics. Later, Iori and his classmates hang out, and discover that Yu Mitarai is missing from their gathering. Iori then finds out that Yu is busy with his girlfriend, and leads his classmates to sabotage their night together out of spite. Iori and Kohei try to set up another mixer for their classmates. Their plan involves dragging Chisa to a king's game with the rest of Peekaboo. Kohei chooses the wrong player while holding the king's stick, leading to Shinji to set up the mixer with a local men's rugby team. Later, Iori mentions that he got another temp job directing traffic for a convention. The Peekaboo crew heads to a diving equipment store to buy new gear for their trip. Kohei spots a pair of women's wetsuits that pay homage to a very popular anime and is elated when Chisa and Aina try them on, even though only he understands the reference. When the crew returns home, Nanaka tells them that they have to do more work to make up for the money they spent on new diving gear. The next day, Asusa, Chika, and Aina end up working at the same convention as Iori and Kohei. Peekaboo arrives in Okinawa for their trip. At the beach, Iori and Kohei decide to ride a banana boat to determine which one of them stays in the men's bedroom with Shinji and Ryujiro. However, the two boys both try to sabotage each other in the same way, falling off the boat at the same time. Back at the beach house, Ryujiro determines that Kohei won by a wave. Azusa lets Iori sleep in the same room as her and Nanaka, but he can't fall asleep with the two voluptuous women on either side of him, so he ends up studying the diving license exam guide instead, before taking drastic measures to fall asleep. The next day, Iori, Kohei, and Aina take the diving exam in two parts, a written test and a practical exam in deep water. During the test, Aina gets tempted to lie about her remaining oxygen, but Iori helps her by reassuring her that the seniors of Peekaboo are better than the ones from her former club. As the group celebrates, Nanaka tells Iori that he's about to fail the test. Iori tries to think of a way to privately practice for the remaining test portion, fearing how Kohei and Aina might react if they see him fail. Peekaboo decides to rent a car so they can go to a nearby fish market. However, the only vehicle left that will fit them is a flatbed truck. At the fish market, Aina and Kohei overhear the others asking for lewd things, but Chisa points out that they are actually names of fish. Back at the beach house, the group splits into pairs to cook dinner and shifts. Yori manages to pair up with Chisa and asks for help with his diving practice. However, Aina and Kohei think they are dating. Later that night, Aina follows Chisa downstairs and finds out from her that she was trying to help Iori practice. Aina then helps as Iori strips off his swim trunks. However, a policeman appears forcing Iori to stay in the pool for fear of being seen nude by him. The next day, he ends up sick in bed. While Aina and Kohei continue their exams, Azusa stays behind to nurse Iori. After some questionable first aid choices, Azusa half-jokingly offers to sleep with Iori, but Iori refuses. He then discovers through Azusa that Shinji already has a girlfriend. The members of Peekaboo meet up at Miyokojima to go deep-sea diving. Iori, who never finished his exam due to sickness, is forced to stay in shallower waters while being teased about it by Kohei. 
As the licensed group goes diving, Chisa decides to stay on the boat to comfort Iori, who turns out to be suffering from seasickness. He then tells Chisa that despite missing the license, he had fun diving and would love to come back again. That night, after hearing that the group had been banned from their chosen restaurant, Shinji and Ryoshiro announce that they will hold their own Otori in the hotel, where everyone will drink from a giant pot of mixed alcohol. Everyone begins by pouring in spiritus, as Iori and Kohei try to find a way out of drinking such a high level of alcohol, but soon give in. Aina later takes a trip with Iori to get more booze for the party, and rants about his lack of clothing upon returning. Azusa offers Aina a drink, but she accidentally picks the heavily alcoholized beverage, and her personality completely flips as she scares Iori and Kohei into fleeing from the hotel. Iori and Kohei reflect on their time in the diving club, as Aina quickly tracks them down. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this, so I'll see you at the next one.